Okay, let's talk about the supermarkets now. It looks like they will be in inquiry looking at price gouging uh, and cartel-like activity with the big supermarkets. Do you welcome this inquiry? Well, I do, but it's, it's really a, a bit of window dressing. Uh, we've been calling for some time for a price monitoring inquiry, not by politicians, but by the ACCC, uh, to really get in underneath the bonnet of the practices of the, the big two Australian supermarkets and the big German to make sure that Australian consumers, but also suppliers, particularly farmers, are being protected. We saw a 70% reduction in beef and sheep prices in June from June, and yet we've only seen an 8% reduction at the checkout. Someone's cleaning up, and that's Coles worse than the big German. That's who's cleaning it up. Uh, and so we need the ACCC to be the tough cop on the beat. And this this uh, inquiry, Senate inquiry, doesn't actually compel the CEOs to turn up. Uh, they, they get invited. Whereas an ACCC price monitoring inquiry would compel the CEOs to turn up. It could be started. It should have already been started. And we could have actually had outcomes before Christmas, not after Christmas. And mm. the agriculture minister is saying put a put a price, uh, price hike on, on ham, well, it's a little bit more than just ham, Murray. If you uh, were in touch with the, the challenges of this cost of living crisis, you understand it's broader than just ham. Uh, and you, when you look at also, you look at the horticulture sector being being done over. I mean, watermelons, they're getting about a dollar a kilogram, yet Coles and Woolworths are charging three to four dollars. Now, they don't need processing. Yeah. They just go on the back of a truck from the paddock and end up in, in the supermarket. They are cleaning up. So we need new powers and I welcome a broader review into competition policy and I agree with Alan Fells that we should have divestiture powers on these supermarkets. We should have an independent arbiter uh, that is cheap for uh, suppliers as well to be able to, to have access to because they very they very much fear retribution if they say anything bad about Coles and Woolworths in that the, because they have such uh, strong supplier, 74% of the market, then mm. they may be, uh, to, may be spurned. So this is where we need reform. And I've made it clear to Andrew Lee, the competition minister, that the nationals uh, have long wanted divestiture powers. We want big penalties, not $64,000 under the grocery code, but now $10 million starting as a starting price and going up uh, for any offence as well as those divestiture powers. That's, uh, we've done this yeah. to the energy sector. We've had big stick legislation. Let's do it for the supermarkets. And if, if they think then they say they're doing the right thing, well, they have nothing to fear. And the CEOs of these, of these supermarkets should come out and welcome uh, better regulatory reform around them so they can prove their innocence if they think they are so innocent. But instead, those CEOs have gone into hiding. Well, just quickly on this, um I have noticed that the big supermarkets create their own brands for commonly bought goods and then they seem to be much cheaper than their competitors. Is that one thing that concerns you? as well as the way in which they deal particularly with suppliers, small right. family suppliers, they they actually go and start their they go and start their own line and they, they ask farmers to make big capital outlays to, mm. to actually buy properties and make investment, uh, and then uh, they simply tear them down or take away those contracts, right. and, and these farmers are left uh, without without being able to supply the product that they've been asked to produce. So mm. it's unconscionable conduct. It's been going on for some time. There's too much power, and it's time. That's when a government should interfere in a marketplace, when there is a market imbalance, power mm. imbalance, and even Alan Fells agrees. So I think it's time, and we'll be supportive of okay. any changes the government wanted to make on that. We don't need an inquiry. We just need to get on with the job. Just quickly, and perhaps most critically, neo-Nazis marching through the streets of Ballarat. It's extraordinary uh, from yesterday, and it seems that there's little that can be done about it. Police didn't want to intervene, and the government at the moment is grappling to kind of figure out what laws apply to it. Yeah, it's, it's a sad indictment on our society that these people um, want to go out in the public and, and make these sorts of these sort of symbolic gestures. Uh, we're just passing legislation now around the use of those symbols and, and salutes, and, mm. uh, but we need, as a society, to step up and, and actually call these people out. Um, and, and I think it is important for legislators, both state and federal, to work through this as quickly as we can, uh, because that sort of behaviour, that sort of behaviour in our society, our great country, uh, isn't welcome, and, and we should stand up. Now, I'm all for free speech, but no. there is a responsibility that everyone has when you have that free speech uh, to actually make sure that you're using it wisely uh, and you understand exactly the implications of what you're saying. Yeah, free speech, uh, but I note that all of these... Uh 
I, I think men uh, didn't want to be identified, all of them with masks on, uh, somewhat yeah. cowardly as well. David, a little proud. We've got to leave it there. We'll see you soon, though. Thanks for having me.